In this video, I'm making three different posters. We only have five minutes to design the first poster, 30 minutes to design the second poster, and five hours to design the last one. All to see if it's really worth it to spend more time on a design. And stay tuned until the end because I'm gonna be giving away one of these posters to one of you. So I have Illustrator opened up, and this first poster we only have five minutes to create, which is going to be very difficult. So I'm gonna write the same text on all three. Design can be cool. All design is good design and copyright Grayson's graphics. This way we're able to compare all three posters and see which one's the best. Time starts in three, two, one, design. Oh gosh, I don't even know where to start. Let's just start by putting the text on here, I guess, and making it not white. Okay, something like that. Maybe this is like really small. I like it being kind of like a little PS, like also all design is good design. Copyright, I'm thinking all the way at the bottom in the corner as it should be. And now let's pick out a cool font. Um, Let's go to filters. Let's do a script font. Yeah. Maybe not, I don't know. Wow, Zapfino, that's pretty cool. We'll make it purple for right now. Okay, this, let's go with a little bit more sans serif font. Oh my God, there's only three minutes on the clock, <laughs> no. And I have made no progress at all. I might need to not even worry about the font. I have so many ideas that I wanna execute, but I don't have any time to do them. Oh my God, I want this to be all caps and I don't know why. That's not even worth it, it doesn't even look good. For consistency, let's make this the same font down here too. Maybe we'll make them bold. Okay, this is coming together. We got two minutes. We can still save this. I think we're going to save this with the best way I know how, the gradient tool. <laughs> Let's make some cool shape. Cool shape created. Minute and 23 on the clock. Gradient. We got a gradient. Ooh, wow. Now we just need a color palette. Wow, this is actually way harder than I thought it was going to be. I didn't realize how much time I spend on things like this. Let's make it all green. Jesus. We need to not make this purple anymore. We got 20 seconds on the clock. <laughs> what if we make that really big? That fills it up. Maybe I stretch this out. No, no. Oh my god. What just happened? That was genuinely way harder than I expected it to be. 100% I am honestly flabbergasted right now. I had an idea in mind. This. I don't understand how when you're watching five minutes on the microwave it takes so long. But when you're actually trying to make something it goes by in an instant. I'm honestly, I'm kind of embarrassed. 30 minutes on the clock. Three, two, one. Design. All design is good design. Design can be cool. Copyright Grayson's graphics. Let's see what we can do. For this one, I'm thinking something that's kind of like retro futuristic, like the Jetson style. Ooh, okay. That's groovy. Neon is kind of fun. The stencil, it's not groovy though. That feels retro futurism. Close to the same amount of time has already passed as I had for the last challenge. And I've spent this entire time just trying to pick a font. What if I made it all caps? Design can be cool. What if I underlined it? I'm making it a statement now, which I think is more fun. This is saying more than my last one. So I'm just kind of working out like the logistics of like where to place this text. This G is not helping me out <laughs> at all. I could do it like this. Yes, we are making a lot more progress with this extra time. Let's add a color in the background and let's see if we can actually find a color palette this time. Wait, Russian poster art. Very American. I'm almost feeling like a semicircle. Maybe we'll change the color. That yellow is fun. This yellow or this orange. To Halloween, let's go this yellow. Okay, that was just 10 minutes straight. This is a lot of pressure to design this fast. This is still going super fast, but we're making a lot more progress. Let's add the Grayson's graphics in, in the bottom and the middle. Oh, maybe down here. And I'll make it that same color. So it kind of just looks like it's bleeding through. Comic Sans, <laughs> that looks very Simpsons. Okay, we'll just use this same font. Perfect. And now the only thing we have left is all design is good design. Design, which I think can fit in right here. And then we can put some sort of actual design element in the middle with all this remaining time we have. So let's just figure out a good retro font that will pair well with this. Maybe like a sans serif, that would be nice. Take off the small caps. This isn't bad. 
Oh, ITC Bengat. That's what we used in our last video. If we increase this, we can stretch it across the entire page. I wonder what happens if we make it lowercase. We got a period. So we've got 15 minutes on the clock to fill up this giant gap in the middle. It'd be cool to fill it up with some sort of futuristic, like, I don't know, 1950s car. It could be an alien. Not just futuristic. I'm like drawing a blank on what the future is right now. I don't know. I can't unsee UFO right now. Maybe I'll do it like a hand drawn feel with the brush tool. That's looking good. That looks like a cool UFO. Go for a lighter shade and fill it in. Okay, so I think I'm done. Like this is it. This is all I wanted to do. I still have about three minutes and 45 seconds on the clock, which means the five hour one might be the most difficult. I don't know how I'm going to waste five hours on making one poster. 30 minutes definitely made a drastic difference. It looks like I went from Microsoft Publisher to an actual big boy program five hours. It's 6 30 p.m. so that means I would wrap up at around 11 30 at night. Let's just get right into it. Three, two, one, design. Okay. <laughs> and we got all the time in the world. I can actually think. I can plan a little bit for this one because the other two I totally were making up off the cuff. If you haven't noticed, I like maximalism. This is my studio and it's very maximalized. Let me show you. This is maximalism. It's a lot of crap, but it all ties together well. And it's like, it's meant to be. I didn't know what the heck that was until the other day. And like my friend found out on Pinterest or something and sent it to me. And I was like, wow, this is who I am. I'm a maximalist. In general, when you type in maximalism on Google, you get this type of stuff. So it's like interior design. It's like a professional thing. Like people do this. It kind of wrote off of the hatred for minimalism. And this is the exact opposite counterpart. In poster design, it might look something more like this and this poster is a good example just all those colors and and things on that page so you got like a ton of fonts a ton of different like text on here but it all still ties together it has sort of the same color palette has a lot of the same elements and just a consistent design throughout the whole thing with a lot crammed into one page so that's what we're gonna do i'm just gonna start by messing around and we'll see where we get and now i can't add more words to this but i can add as many elements as i want and i can do whatever i want with the font i think there's opportunity to do something pretty unique here i'm gonna make this rectangle i'm gonna hit split into grid go into columns and chop this thing up into a bunch of like squares and then i make them look fancy by turning them into circles my point of doing that is to come into the color guide and go find a cool like swatch to use for maximalism i want to go with something pretty poppy i think bright is fun so we'll just pull a couple of colors here that will work well and then let's think about three fonts that we can use consistently throughout this whole thing and again the point is design can be cool so I really want to go with something that's like fun lighthearted we're not gonna take ourselves too seriously with this whoa <laughs> that's kind of interesting but I don't think that I can find anything that's going to go with it and match Oh wow, I like that font a lot. That's very fun. But there's a sans serif that would go good with that. The Rode Microphones font isn't bad. Okay, so I found these three fonts that I think work well together and kind of play off of each other. This one's called Trans City. This one is Oswald Regular, and this is Oswald Extra Light. So now that we have our color palette and our fonts, I want to be pretty creative with it, a little funky. I want to not have any rules. I'm just gonna go after it. <laughs> you gotta admit that's pretty funny. I really like how like this stuff looks. There's so many colors and shapes and lines. Oh, like this too. What if we made some sort of pattern? Whoa. And then we can lower the opacity on these. It's been 20 minutes and that has been a very productive 20 minutes. Look at what we made. What if I stretch this all the way? No way, that's kind of sick. Now we're talking. It's been about 
30 minutes coming up, which is the same amount of time that we made this design can be cool poster in. And I'm starting to have second guesses. Given so much creative freedom and so much time, I've created a monster. <laughs> this looks absolutely god awful. I'm second guessing if I should finish this or if I need to completely start from scratch. Also at no point to date did I realize I was going to be designing until 11.30 at night. I feel like a kid who just got free access to Adobe CS5 and is now making this to put on their wall. That can be a style, but it's not my style. I think we gotta really, really rethink this. It starts with that. Obviously it's a room, but like there's a lot of waves and lines and I think I could take some inspiration from that. Wow, my thought process here right now, this is like the floor and these are like the walls. How it has like this wavy floor and it goes into walls. I think we are actually making a maximalist design right now. Well, we only have four hours more to go. How am I gonna make it this long? It's like burning into my eyes. We're gonna per, uh, pursue. I can't think anymore. I took a little bit of a break. We're gonna use some AI recolor. Oh, wow. I like that. I like this too. That's pretty retro. Oh, I see this is like the salmon sushi. Very oceany. Looks like a mermaid. I definitely fell in love with this color. Okay, here are the three final designs. So on the left here is our five minute graphic. In the middle took 30 minutes and on the right side took five hours. I'm gonna be completely honest, the timer is still running up here and we've got about four hours to go, but I can't bring myself to design any longer than this. This is my max. I'm not that great of a designer and there's not much more that I even know to do with this thing. Personally, I think it's pretty evident that this middle design is the best one. Like if I had to pick one to go on my wall, it's the middle poster. Even though I got much more time on the last design, that doesn't necessarily mean it was much better than the previous one. Sometimes less is more and that's very evident with this design. Now I've got something for you, okay? Normally I ask you guys to subscribe and to give me a sub, but this time I wanna do something a little bit different and I wanna give you something. So don't subscribe, don't click on it, don't press that button. We're not doing that in this video. You can go subscribe to somebody else. In this video, I'm going to give you one of these posters as a print and I'll mail it to you and all you have to do is leave a comment and let me know which one you like the best. I'm going to pick a random commenter and I'm going to send them one of these posters, whichever one you said you wanted. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.